Hey, what's up everybody? Um, okay, so I wanted to share uh, a really crazy dream. I say it's crazy because I actually never thought it would I would have a dream like that. I've heard about people um, on YouTube talking about this type of thing, but I didn't really think it was true. Um, I kind of second guessed it and didn't believe it because it seemed too good to be true, I guess. And so about a few months ago, well, not a few months ago, I would say maybe about two months ago, I, uh, I prayed about, um, about, you know, powers or, you know, whatever God was going to give, um, his people at the end of the age. I think, um, in order to empower them to fight against the Antichrist and, um, uh, the world system and, uh, against the Nephilim, I think. Um, I really pray because I heard people talk about the 144,000 and how they would receive certain type of gifts or powers from God. Um, they were, that would be probably unearthly, something that we haven't really, um, seen except in movie theaters and, uh, you know, movies. And so I prayed about it and I asked God if that was true and nothing happened for a few months. And, um, so I think maybe two, I would say maybe two or three weeks, maybe a month, uh, a month ago, I had a crazy dream and in the dream, um, I was actually um, portraying these superpowers. So I remember in, I was in this room and I basically had, it sounds crazy, but I had eyes of fire. Like my eyes were made of flames. Um, it was it was um, shining bright orange or bright. I wouldn't say it was bright red. It was or like fire. It was in my eyes. The only way I can describe it is um, if you guys have seen Man of Steel, where um, Superman's eyes would glow with this like orange um, or red fire in his eyes. That's how my eyes looked. And in a dream, I was basically. Uh, practicing these powers i would literally concentrate my my eyes and little um i didn't see lasers come out but i i saw that if i was to focus on something or maybe they did i don't know it, there was a lot about that dream i don't remember but i do remember a lot for example when i would look at something and i really focus like squint my eyes like this in the beginning of the dream when i would look at something i felt like lasers would come uh, light would come from my eyes beams of light which were like orange or red would come from my eyes and burn burn whatever i looked at like straight up lasers would come from my eyes right and i remember squinting really hard and practicing uh practicing having these things come from my eyes and it would work like i would look at like uh for example there was a mailbox made of steel or metal or something and i remember i looked at this mailbox and i was squinting my eyes like this and i remember i remember seeing holes in the in the mailbox like like something had burned through it and it was my eyes so it was crazy because i was like oh that's pretty cool like I, I have superpowers that's what i was thinking in my in my head and like, I remember it was easy at first, and then it got kind of harder, and I had to squint really hard for the, for the lasers to come out of my eyes. And and I remember just, um, I, I asked, I don't know if someone was with me, or I talked to myself, but I said, I wonder how my eyes look. And so I, I was in this room, and I looked in the mirror, and I looked at my eyes, and it was, I kid you not, it was like all the whites, even the uh, brown of my eyes were all like um, fire like orange it was crazy and so i was like cool and then um after that i i went out trying to still like have lasers come from my eyes and 
it was kind of hard. I was really trying to squint. I was really like doing this, like, come on, come on. And I said to myself, oh man, I must have lost my powers. I remember um, saying that. And then I, I don't know if someone told me this, I'm pretty sure it was an angel or God himself, but um, something told me and said, you can't lose what God has gifted you with, or you can't lose what God has blessed you with. And so I was like, okay, maybe it just takes practice and maybe holy living, the more holy you are, the more you know, righteous you are for the Lord, the more power you have or something like that. That's what I was thinking. And I had another superpower, which was really crazy. I, I could freeze things with my uh, breath. Um, I remember being in the room and I blew at, at my door and I just said, and I remember the door freezing, like it would just slowly, and it just, it froze the whole door. And it was, it was smooth. I remember it was very smooth, smooth, like a big slab of ice was on the door. And I was like, oh my gosh, bro, I have, I have a freeze breath. And I, t I remember touching the door to feel the ice and I was, it was very smooth. And I just remember... It was like I was testing my powers. Like I, I had all these powers and I was testing them. But the only powers that I saw in that dream was um, I was able to freeze things with my breath. So if I blew on anything, I could freeze it. And if um, I could also have lasers or fire could shoot from my eyes, which is pretty cool. Now, some of you may be thinking, oh, I mean, you watch too much movies or... Uh, you, maybe you had a, you watched something and you fell asleep and that's, that could be true. Um, you know, I think I was watching, I remember watching, um, Man of Steel of maybe a few weeks before or something, but you guys, I know within my heart that this is not from a movie. This is not for me watching. I've watched a lot of movies in the past. I've never had dreams like that. And coincidentally, when I asked the Lord to reveal to me what the powers of the 144,000 are, uh, a few months later, I get that dream. I don't think that's a coincidence. I think it's the Lord speaking. I believe it's from God. Now, I had this dream about a month ago. And uh, I didn't really want to post it because I wasn't too sure it was from God or from the enemy and I never post things unless I know it's from God I never always want to have a dream or a vision and post it really quick because I want to make sure it's God's message and not my own or the enemy's and I don't want to deceive anybody I don't want to come on here and speak lies or uh, some BS I don't want to do that I don't want to lead anybody astray so I always make sure with the Lord that it's it's coming from him and it's true um is it from too much movies absolutely not it's not uh i wasn't even watching anything like that for a while so it's not from that i also prayed and asked god if it was from him and if it was from him um to give me confirmation and god always gives me at least one or two two confirm he always gives me at least two confirmations that it's from him so after I had that dream, I said, Lord, is it from you? If it is, give me, show me something that um, says that this was your message and not uh, my own or the enemy. And so uh, I think that I think the next day or the day after, uh, or maybe a week, I'm not sure, it was a few days, I think, I had went to McDonald's and I had a friend that was with me and uh we got the receipt and my friend said, um, look the number up, look this number up. It was this number. Uh, four, I kept this just in case, uh, 1410. And I was like, I didn't think of it at the time. Usually I look at things in a strong concordance. Um, if I feel led to, but this time I really wasn't led to. It was more of my friend telling me, hey, why don't you check it out? See what's up with that number. Just randomly. And so I said, fine, I'll look it up. And when I looked it up, um, 1410 and a strong means uh, dunamis, I think. Dunamis or dunami. 
Um, I think in the Greek it means power, like explosive power or something like that. Ability of power or um, power of God or something like that, right? You guys can look it up for yourself. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is this is exactly what I prayed for. I asked God if this was um, from him. And I, I see this number and it says power, dunamai. So I said... Okay, that's very interesting. Um, I wasn't really convinced yet that this was from God, this dream. And um, and so I didn't really think anything of it. I said, Lord, you know, I don't know. It sounds like it's from you, but I don't know. And so <laughs> a week later, um, I have this emergency on my table. And... Uh, you know the emergency is the, um, the little packets that you put in water um, to drink for vitamin C right and it's the blue kind uh, it was the blue box one and I always had the bottle or the the canister right I always had the canister basically facing um, facing me and I never seen the back of the box so I was getting rid of all my stuff on the table and I picked up the uh, the box and I was just looking at it, looking at the vitamins and minerals and all that in the box. And I turned it around and it said, um, uh, superpowers may vary. And when I seen that on the emergency box, I said, superpowers may vary. I lost it, guys. I started laughing and was like, man, God is so good, man. He just answers your prayer so perfectly in the time that he wants it to. And I believe that, okay, Lord. Um, this was from you this dream was from you so I'm in I'm under the impression I really am guys that the Lord is going to uh, empower the 144,000 with um, super powers like stuff you see in movies but beyond that I think God was just giving me basically uh, a, um, a bit of the power that he's gonna give us uh, you know, I've had power. I've, I mean, I've had dreams of uh, flying before. You know, I've had dreams where I um, uh, I was flying in the sky. I've had dreams of practicing flying. I mean, I remember. Had, I don't remember. I don't know if I shared this dream with you guys, but I remember I was in this grass field and I was just running and I would. I was trying to take off and I would jump and float and land back down and run again and jump and then land back down. I was getting higher and higher and. It just seemed like I was practicing and learning how to fly. And I used to remember these animals all around me. It was like a really uh, beautiful place, really beautiful setting. Um, and I had another dream about where I was flying, but that was a vague dream. But the biggest one was the dream I had about, I call it the millennial reign, which I don't, I don't think it was. I think it was um, during the, I think during the Antichrist B system where the 144,000 will act as um, warriors and spies for the Lord and um, basically ministers. But God didn't imbue them with power. Now, a lot of people think, well, you know, you're talking about all these things, but this is just stuff in movies. Well, where do you think they get the stuff from? You guys, Satan is a copycat. He copies the Lord in everything. The, these type of powers, you know, where you see X-Men and Superman and all these superheroes... This is the type of stuff that the angels have, but the angels are on a higher level um, than what we see. What we see as superpowers, superheroes, um, they're beyond that. But all it is 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 Satan trying to copy what um, the angelic have, which was what the one hundred and forty four thousand will have. Uh, they're going to have the power of flight. They're going to have the power of uh, fire coming from their eyes or their mouth. They're going to have the Basically, they're going to have the power of the elements. They're going to be able able to control fire, ice. Um, gravity will no longer uh, be a hindrance to uh, the 144,000, the people of God, right? All these things God is going to take away, all the restraints of this world, God's going to take away. So we're going to be able to do um, things that we, can, we can't even comprehend right now. And I think God was basically showing me a little bit of uh, what... The 144,000, what you guys are going to be able to do. Um, it's going to be awesome and great things, man. Um, it's still hard to believe. I, 
sometimes I sit down, I'm like, what? That sounds like a, a freaking movie. It doesn't even sound like it really happened, but this stuff is going to happen. It's going to take place. God is going to, um, you know, surprise his people. You know, there's a lot of things in a, I think there's a quote where it says like in the Bible where, you know, God's going to show you wonders and visions and all these things, even, um, he said, I think even if I told you, you wouldn't believe me what I would do. But, you know, God's going to do great and wondrous things. And Jesus, you know, promised that, you know, uh, greater things that they're going to be able to do. You know, the people of God, you know, because when he goes to the Father, he's going to imbue his people to do greater things. And these things are going to be, you know, you're going to see people flying in the sky. You're going to people, you're going to see people with uh, powers. I mean, the, the beast system... The Antichrist B system is going to have super soldiers, guys. They're going to have Nephilim. They're going to have all these weird things going on in the world. So when when these things come to the world, God's going to imbue his people to counteract that, right? Because they can't really proclaim the gospel of God if they don't have the power of God within them to do that. So the Antichrist B system is going to do all they can to stop the people of God, the 144,000 from proclaiming the gospel to the lost right so god has to em empower his people with those gifts in in order to basically spread the gospel to millions and millions of people across the world i think god's gonna have mercy and grace upon those people man but he's gonna need his people he's gonna need the 144,000, um kind of a super soldier an elite soldier to basically fight off demons fight off nephilim and the antichrist beast system so I think, um, uh, you know, we're going to be able to do crazy stuff, you know? So, you know, I just pray that, I always pray that I'm worthy uh, of these things. Because sometimes, you know, it's, it's, you know, living in this life, man, is not easy. <sighs> Being a Christian is not easy. Having to fight your flesh and having to, you know, fight the enemy and the world is not an easy thing. And sometimes I know... A lot of a lot of people may feel like they're not worthy of that and i feel the same way there is no way that I, I can be worthy of what god is trying to give his people but we have to trust in the lord and you know believe that god's going to help us through it all you know what i mean he's going to help us overcome all these things in order that we may help other people so um yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys man it, it's a really it was a really trippy dream and it took me a while to believe I, even when I had a dream, I was like, there's just no way, but I had to, I had to get confirmation from the Lord. And I just, you know, I showed you guys the confirmation. This is, it's crazy. Um, but you know, for all you guys struggling in Christ, you know, just know that it's worth it. Like God's going to bless you with so much wondrous stuff. Um, the bride of Christ and 144,000 are going to be used to save so many people. I do believe that in my heart. Um, so just hold on to what God has given you and, and believe, believe what God has said to you. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. You don't have to believe me, but go to God in prayer and ask him yourself. Ask him if what I'm saying is true. Um, God will let you know himself. So let every man and woman be a liar and God, uh, be the truth in all things, you know? Um, also about a few days ago, I heard. I heard um, 144 training. That's what I heard. 144 training. And I woke up. And I mean, I've heard people talk about um, some sort of training facility for 144,000. I've never had a dream of 144,000 training or anything like that. But, hey, I heard it in my, he in, in my sleep in a dream. So who knows? It could be true. Um, but maybe God is saying it's coming up, the training of his people, and um, just to be ready. We know that the B system is rising, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, and the New World Order is rising through these people, and we see it through the um, through the chaos. So don't let the don't let the racism get to you guys. Don't let the black and white thing. Don't let that get to you. A lot of people starting starting to, um, I think, be be kind of susceptible to that to that thought process don't don't let it get to you please we're all one in christ black white um brown whatever 
you know, we're all one in Christ. The 144,000 speaks volumes of that because um, the 144,000 are men, they're women, they're, they come from every color, background, creed, ethnicity, nationality. Um, you know, you could be Chinese, a Chinese woman to be 144,000. You could be uh, a black a black woman and be 144,000. You could be a, a an old white guy and be 144,000. You could be a child and be 140. It doesn't. God doesn't see. Um, he doesn't see color, age, or national. He doesn't see that. He sees the inside of the heart. He sees um, the person's heart. Um, so man looks at the outside, but God looks at the inside. So. Um, don't believe what people say about the 144,000. No, they can't be women. They can't be this. They can't be that. The 144,000 can be women. The 144,000 can be children. The 144,000 can be whatever color and nationality it does not matter. And it matters about your heart and your relationship with God. That's what matters. So as long as you're in Christ Jesus, as long as you're born again and you're following God, and God chooses you to serve him in that capacity, that's what you're going to be straight up. So... All the other people that talk all that rest of that BS, you can leave that alone because it's false. So um, I just wanted to share that with you guys and um, say I, I really love you and I can use a lot of prayer. I've been getting attacked very severely a lot in the past few months and um, I could use your prayer more than anything, guys. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share this dream and let you know that the 144,000 will receive superpowers some may vary i don't know uh i heard of a guy having ice in his hand i had ice coming from my or freezing things from my mouth so um i don't know we'll see what god does in the future but we know the lord is coming back very soon so let's try to be ready and um do the best the best we can to live right for the lord okay all right love you guys bye